The last example I'll consider here, um, or the next example I'll consider here uh, in chapter one is example one five, uh, an application of Antoine's equation. Okay, so the um, so we're we're given expression for Antoine equation, yeah, equation one point two. So log base ten of vapor pressure is equal to a minus b divided by t plus uh, c. Um, so you could solve your Antoine equation for t. So if instead of solving for the vapor pressure at a given t, you could solve for the saturation temperature at a given saturation temperature at a given p. Um, you know, all is good. Okay. And we're provided with uh, Antoine parameters for ethanol, which are listed here in the problem statement. And using these Antoine parameters, we're assuming that we have temperature in degree C, the vapor pressures in millimeters of mercury, and we're told that this expression is valid over this range. Okay. And then there's a series of questions in that we're going to be asked to calculate vapor pressure um, at a given temperature. And then also asked if we can calculate vapor pressure in other units besides millimeters of mercury. Uh, what if scenario does vapor pressure increase or decrease with temperature? So we can look at you know increasing temperature and repeating the calculations and seeing what the effect is. Uh, and then also uh, calculating the corresponding saturation temperature. Um, so I'll go over to MATLAB and let's solve this uh, part A. So let's evaluate Antoine equation and we can perform unit conversions and look at at least one other uh, unit of pressure. And then we can play with temperature and see what the effect is. Um, and if we can do those two, then C would be straightforward. Uh, and in the interest of time, I won't uh, repeat. OK, so now I have MATLAB open. Uh, and I have our Antoine equation down here, uh, in case uh, you've never uh, memorized the Antoine equation. So I'm going to start by um, clearing my variables clearing my workspace uh, so that I can begin work on this new problem. So we are told, uh, or given Antoine parameters for ethanol, so we have A is 8.13484, okay. B is 1662.48, and C is equal to 238.8. 131. Okay, uh, and as noted in the text, um, I uh, tend to always use lowercase letters when I'm um, assigning values to scalar quantities. Later on, uh, when we look at vectors and matrices, I tend to use capital letters uh, for those names so that I can keep track of what type uh, of variable uh, each is. Okay, so now I have my Antoine parameter stored. Um, and in the first case, we're going to look at a specific temperature. Um, so let's store that to variable. Okay. So if I look at A, it says um, look at a temperature of 380 Kelvin. So I'm going to create a variable T underscore K corresponding to the temperature in Kelvin. And I'm going to assign to it a value of uh, 380. Okay. But from the problem statement, the Antoine equation as written expects a temperature in degree C and it'll compute a vapor pressure in millimeters of mercury. Okay, so I'm going to create a new variable, T underscore C, that corresponds to the temperature in degree C, and I'll convert my temperature in Kelvin uh, to C okay, by subtracting 273.15. Okay, cool. So now in calculating uh, vapor pressure, okay, we have an equation for log P. Okay, so I'll evaluate it as is. Uh, again, in the interest of uh, performing the calculation in steps to minimize the possibility of myself making mistakes. And so if I just look at the Antoine equation as written, so log P is equal to A minus B divided by T, or here it's T underscore C plus C, okay? Where my uh, denominator is in parentheses, to make sure I evaluate T underscore C plus C uh, before I divide, uh, or B divide by that quantity. Now to get my pressure, okay, so now remember uh, by default I'll get pressure in millimeters of mercury. Um, so to get my uh, pressure, so remember this is log base 10, okay. Uh, so in MATLAB when you see the log, remember log is log base 10, 
or yeah, I'm sorry, when you see log, log is log base E, it's natural log. If you want log base 10 in MATLAB, it's log 10. Okay, here it's log base 10. And so to undo log base 10 or to take the anti-log to get a pressure in millimeters of mercury, it is 10 raised to the, in this case, log P. Okay. So if I evaluate, I get 2.0692 times 10 to the 3, which corresponds to 2,069.2 millimeters of mercury, which agrees perfectly with what's given in the problem statement. Next, it says, well, uh, try and compute pressure in other units. So how I would do that is first calculate the pressure of millimeters of mercury, and then I can convert. So if I wanted pressure in, say, ATMs, okay, well, if I want to convert my pressure in millimeters of mercury to ATMs, I remember that there's one ATM per 760 millimeters of mercury. Okay, so I multiply by the appropriate conversion factor, and I get 2.7226 ATMs. Okay, excellent. Okay, and so you'll notice uh, in my calculations, it's, I tried not to just use P as my variables to assign my pressures to, but I augmented P by the units uh, so that I could try and keep track of the units uh, of these quantities. Same thing when it came to temperature. Okay, great. Now, if we wanted to look at or play what-if scenarios, because one of the great things about solving problems like this is we can play what-if scenarios uh, pretty quickly, is uh, if temperature increases, uh, how does vapor pressure change? Okay. Well, okay. so we started out with you know, a temperature of 380 Kelvin, right? So I TC is that, then I find I go and evaluate vapor pressure, I can just recall our command for log P, and then finally um, P and say millimeters of mercury. Okay. If I want to increase the temperature, I just go back to my assignment for TC. Let's maybe increase my temperature to 500 Kelvin. Recalculate log P. Recalculate my pressure in millimeters of mercury. Okay, so I get 36,000. Uh, 263 millimeters of mercury. Okay, um, so uh, as temperature increases, uh, vapor pressure is increasing, and it's increasing exponentially.